morning students we shall solve out the second problem in calculation of leverages so we have problem like this calculate operating and financial leverage from the following so they have asked you to calculate operating and financial leverage please make sure that you know all the formulas so that it will become easy to you to calculate the problems here okay so in this they have given sales 1 lakh units at rupees 5 per unit so directly they have given 1 lakh units at rupees 5 per unit so we have to multiply 1 lakh into 5 to get total sales amount okay so one then problem is sales amount and the could be to the rupees and put it there so I'm going to direct talk to go to kill one problem so the units go to per unit value put it there I'm gonna multiply money to go back so next we have variable cost at rupees 1 per unit so rupees 1 per unit quote is there but how many units quote till la so as I said you sales and variable cost will be having a direct relationship agagi sales 1 lakh units and the could be to the name this only will be applied for variable cost also is the new name pit go back oh confused Marco baby in the per unit and the could be to the name is two units and the court till la so already sales and units quote to the name even now with the way back with a so variable cost at rupees 1 per unit next we have fixed cost 1 lakh interest expenditure 20,000 they have given directly so to look at the given information sales so 1 lakh into rupees 5 per unit will get 5 lakh rupees as sales variable cost that is 1 lakh units into rupees 1 per unit we get 1 lakh fixed cost we have 1 lakh and interest we have 20,000 so now give the heading as calculation of leverages okay so under that you know the format sales we have calculated already 5 lakhs less variable cost we get sorry less variable cost we have 1 lakh so we get contribution as 4 lakhs which is first balancing figure less fixed cost we have 1 lakh they have given in the problem already so balancing figure we get as ebit what is ebit earnings before interest and tax so we get 3 lakhs as ebit so that will be your second balancing figure so from that we are going to deduct the interest first interest they have given in the problem 20,000 so finally we get ebt that is 2 lakh 80,000 as third balancing figure so next so as i said you need gay leverages calculation gay till ebt it will be sufficient understood but you get 14 marks problem solve mark by kadri ill or go now calculate mark by kagute so that is why i have solved the full format here so less tax so on which amount we are going to calculate the tax on ebt so again i'm highlighting you should calculate the tax on ebt only okay so problem only nam get tax percentage kotilla six marks allo ashte 14 marks allo ashte nam get tax percentage kodo dilla suppose kotre auro adhe tax percentage na nawa it ko beko say for example 30 percent 40 percent at the mention madir tane understood so awa gana vain madir beko adhe percentage na it kondo illa haak ko beka guti suppose kotilla antandre we have to assume the corporate tax at 50 percent understood so 2 lakh 80 thousand into 50 percent it will become 1 lakh 40 thousand and finally we have 1 lakh 40 thousand left out we call it as eat that is earnings after tax okay next we have we are going to deduct preference share dividend so preference share dividend koti than a problem only kotilla so finally we will be having the balancing figure that is earnings available to equity shareholders understood so this is how you are going to use the format and you are going to calculate this leverages so now in the one two three and the birthday of the new problem will bury our shake at the illa but formula remembrance goes to birthday dini so operating leverage and the contribution divided by ebit that is one divided by two first balancing figure divided by second balancing figure mother operating leverage second balancing figure divided by third balancing figure mother financial leverage so you are going to multiply ol into fl we get combined leverage so this is how you can remember very easily now come back to the calculation of operating leverage the formula is contribution divided by ebit so contribution is to the 4 lakhs is divided by 3 lakhs is ebit we get 1.33 times next we have financial leverage that is ebit divided by ebt so ebit is to the number 
3 lakhs divided by EBT is 2 lakh 80,000 we get 1.071 times. So this is your second problem. So in the problem say nimke 6 marks get get on the very important very easy and very simple problems. If you have any doubts you can ask me guys. Thank you.